What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and we're going to be bringing you guys a best class setup for the CUDA SMG. This is one of the first guns that you unlock, actually I believe it's unlocked the moment you actually start out the game. Um, and in my opinion, this is the best gun in the game overall. Um, it can do just about anything you'd want it to do. But today I'm going to be um, bringing you what I feel like is the best um, attachments, optics and things uh, for this gun. That'll help it out well, help you out, get your kills, um, help you, uh, you know, win gun fights, and, uh, you know, let's hop right into it. The optic that I use for this gun is the uh, ELO sight. Now, um, the reason why I use the ELO sight over the red dot sight is because, for one, you get the red dot sight in it, but you can also get gain better control over your peripheral vision um, when you're in a medium to short range gun fight. Um, you can you can see better from left to right, um, and it helps you out in gunfights. It, it, it helps me out a lot better than um, the reflex because I feel like it's um, more for medium to long range gunfights. Next, on to the attachments, we're going to be using. I use the uh, quick draw, the grip, and the stock. Now I'm probably going to take off the stock and uh, uh, just. Uh, take some and add some other stuff into it um into my class but i can get to that at the end um i use the the quick draw so that i'm aiming up my gun as fast as i can um and getting you know getting into those gunfights a lot quicker uh the faster you aim your gun the better uh chances you have of winning these gunfights next i have the uh grip on it so that it can contain the uh the little bit of recoil that this gun does have um this actually has a low to moderate recoil um, and the more you can control the recoil, the better you're gonna um, better you're gonna win the gunfights. The steadier aim is gonna be, and uh, aim is the game in Black Ops 3. Um, the better you can aim, the better you're gonna win these gunfights. Like I said, I use the stock. It helps me strafe better. But here lately, I've just been feeling like it's um, like it's not been as effective as it used to be. Um, so I'm probably gonna take it off um, and just run quick draw and the grip and then. One of the and the wild card that I used to actually put the uh, the stock on there um, will actually save me two uh, slots in the pick ten system. Now we're gonna jump down to um to the perks. I do not run a perk one um, because I'm playing hardcore. I normally use six cents when I'm playing hardcore or when I'm playing core because it helps me um you know spot when enemies are around me. Like if right there, if I were to have had six cents on I would have knew, knew that guy was right there right away and this guy right here that I'm coming up on because they're both they were hiding in some pretty thick brush um in the map um but that's what that'll help you with but I don't use it on um on hardcore just because um you can't see exactly where on the mini map because you don't have a mini map in um hardcore so I leave perk one alone I don't use one at all um but I do run two perk twos um I run quick draw or fast hands to pair with quick draw so that I'm aiming my gun and bringing it up to aim down sights as quickly as possible to get into those gunfights quicker to win these gunfights. Um, like I said when I was talking about the quick draw attachment, the better, the faster you get your uh, gun gun up to aim, the better your better chances are going to be to win the uh, the actual gunfight. And now my um, my second perk two is going to be anti up now I use that because it gives you a bonus 100 score every time you're playing the game like if you're you're just starting out you already have a hundred score so the UAV if you use it only uh, takes you four kills to get um, care package will only take you um, like four and a half kills to get um, you know and it just makes it easier to get score streaks if you're not as good getting kills like I am I, I think I have like a steady one KD this entire uh, gameplay and it helped out a lot to get my UAV in the count and the care package that I'm going to be using um, I actually did get a kill there, um, but I'll explain how my uh, score streaks helped me out now um, I should have won this gunfight knowing that I had the uh, UAV. I knew that guy was there um, He didn't know if I was going to be there or if I would have went to wrap around I should have actually wrapped around to flank him to actually get that kill, but you know you live, you learn, you, you get better. Um, and then my 
my perk three that I use is awareness. Now, I don't recommend you using awareness if you either don't have a headset or if you don't have a good quality headset. I use the Xbox One stereo headset that actually works for my PlayStation um, 4 as well because it has the 3.5 millimeter jack on it. Um, and it just, uh, it's got good quality sound. I can hear um, gameplay really crisply. Um, and it just, it's good sound and good quality headset. Um, I want to actually start using um, Dead Silence when I get it. I'm not actually at the level right now to get it. Um, I will be though because it is double XP weekend and I'll be grinding out to get um, to prestige as many times as I possibly can. I want to bring you guys some prestige videos where I prestige show you my stats. They're not the greatest in the world, um, but I'll show you my stats, what um, classes I'm using. And things like that. I'm actually at Prestige 3 right now. I'm uh, working on Prestige 4. Um, so let's get into our score streak. Uh, the score streaks that I use are the UAV, the Care Package, and the Hardened Sentry. Now this Hardened Sentry that I have here actually came through a Care Package that I got earlier in the gameplay. Um, the way I run my um, my score streak setup is I have the UAV because in Hardcore you don't have a minimap. And a... Uh, it gives you a distinct advantage over the enemy team when you have the, uh, the UAV in there because you know exactly where your enemies are um, and they they don't know where you are. You, they won't know you're coming. Um, and then I use my um, care package just to give me you know the chance to get a higher end score streak that I wouldn't be able to get by my gun skills um, like the wraps or um, Cerberus or things like that. Um, and that's what I use for that. And also with um, with anti up, the way it works is it gives you the hundred skill extra score. So when I get the four kills that I get for the UAV, when I pop the UAV, generally my teammates are picking up kills, and I get the assists. And with the points that I get from the assists, it gives me the care package so that I actually don't have to get another gun kill. Um, sometimes that works, sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but most of the time, that's how it works um, for me. And then I use the Hardened Century, um, you know, just to give me some uh, free kills. Um, I'll place it over the middle of the map, um, you know, just to, to get people coming through the middle. Right here, the UAV would have been perfect. Sixth Sense would have been perfect right there because I totally missed that guy. And then he ended up killing me. Um, I could have ended up getting two kills um, for, the, for the price that I ended up getting the one kill. But um, I don't know why I didn't see him. I guess I was running around... Um, and I just wasn't paying attention. That's why paying attention always helps when you're uh, playing Call of Duty. Um, that guy was just sitting there chilling. I could have got the kill. I actually do end up going back and getting him. Because um, he doesn't realize that I know he's going to still be sitting there. Um, but I use the Hardened Sentry. Just place it over the middle of the map. Just like I did in that room up top overlooking the bridge. So that I can get free kills. Because a lot of people go through there. Especially in Domination. Where they have the B flag right there. Um, that helps you, you can lock down B in domination, you can lock down a certain point, um, you know, help out your teammates, uh, free up, um, some areas of the map to go for your teammates, and, uh, but yeah, the, the wild cards that I use is, a uh, primary gunfire one, so that I can have a, th a third attachment, um, but I'm probably gonna take that off, I'm gonna add my wrench, because I just got the wrench in the supply drop opening video that I did the other day, um, I want to start using it, um, getting some kills with it, um, so that I can bring you guys some kind of decent gameplay with it. I have a bots gameplay that I'm probably going to do, um, but I want to give you guys an actual multiplayer gameplay with it. So I'll probably be taking off the, uh, the stock because it's really not helping me right now anyways. But um, And then I also use Perk 2 Greed so that I can have two Perk 2s um, in my class. Um, but yeah, that's it for the class. I'm using the uh, Nomad Specialist with... Um, the Hive, I don't generally use that often. I was just testing it out. Um, I normally use Seraph um, and then her weapon and ability. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section if you um, if you guys have a gun that you would like me to do. Or if there's a gun in the series that I haven't already done. Um, which the only gun I've done right now is the CUDA. But um, for, later, for future videos. Um, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out. Um, let me know what you guys are using on this setup. Um, and then subscribe to see more. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.